Assalamu alaikum to all my lovely students who are listening to me. I hope you all are fine. Well, I am your English teacher and today we are going to study the subject of English language. Okay, now the topic we, which we are going to study today is adjective. Now, let's just begin with it. Do you people know what is adjective? What is adjective? An adjective is a describing word. An adjective is a describing word. Okay, now it describes which word? Let's just see. Quality. It describes what the quality of person, place, animal, or thing. Okay, it means that adjective is a word that describes the quality of noun. It describes the quality of noun. For example, a beautiful girl, nice place. Dangerous animal, yellow scale, sharp pencil. Okay, now moving on. Adjective describes us about the quality of noun, but other than quality, a word that describes the color size, shape, and number of noun that is also called adjective, okay? For example, here we have this boy. Boy is a noun. Now, the word that describes noun is called, is called adjective. Now, the quality. Here we'll just describe the quality. Smart boy. Okay? The word smart is telling us about the quality of this noun boy. So, smart is noun. Okay? Smart boy. Smart is adjective. Our second example is this color. Okay, the word black crow, black crow. Now the word black is describing the color of noun that is crow. So black is adjective, black crow. Black is adjective. Mm, here we have an elephant. So the word that describes the size of noun is also called adjective. So here it is big elephant. The word big is describing the size of elephant. So that's why it's an adjective. Now, number. One dog and three puppies. One dog and three puppies. Now the word one and three are describing the number of dog and puppies. So one and three are adjective, okay? Because they are telling that how many dog and puppies are there. Now, here is a table. So the word we have is shape. Round table. The word round is describing the shape of table, that it is a round table. So the word round is adjective. An adjective also describes how something or someone looks, tastes, 
feels, smells, or sound. Okay? Now, here is a girl. Beautiful girl. Beautiful girl. The word beautiful is describing the looks of the girl. Okay? It's describing the looks of the girl. That how she looks. She looks beautiful. So, beautiful is adjective. Hmm, burger. Spicy burger. The word spicy is just telling about the taste of burger. So, the word spicy is adjective. Okay? Then comes soft pillow. Soft pillow. How's the pillow? It is soft. The word soft is telling us how the pillow feels. Okay? It feels soft. So, the word soft is adjective. Fresh fragrance. Fresh fragrance. Now, the word fresh is telling us that fragrance is fresh. Okay, it's telling us that how it smells. It smells fresh. So, the word fresh is adjective. Here, as you can see in the picture, there's a music. So, it, this is something related to sound. Hmm, here we have loud music. Loud music. How? What, what kind of music it is? It is loud music. The word loud is describing that what kind of sound it is. It is loud. So, the word loud is adjective. Now, here we have the exercise of our book. On page number 10, you have the exercise of practice. Let's just do it. Copy these sentences, underline the adjective in each sentence. Okay, now let's just read it one by one. Number one, Jack sold the brown cow. Now the word Jack is noun. The word sold is verb. Again, the word cow is noun. So, Jack sold the brown cow. Which, what kind of, what kind of cow he just sold? A brown cow. So, the, the word brown is describing the color of noun. So, that's why brown is adjective. Number two, he planted the magic beans. Mm, he planted the magic beans. Planted is verb. Beans is noun. So the word magic here is describing what kind of beans he planted. He planted the magic beans. So magic is adjective. Number three, Jack climbed the tall beanstalk. Now, the word Jack is noun. Climbed is verb. Beanstalk is noun. So, where is the adjective? Jack climbed the tall beanstalk. What kind of beanstalk? Tall. The word tall is describing beanstalk. So, tall is adjective. Moving on to number four. Jack saw an old castle. Jack saw an old castle. What kind of castle? Jack saw an old castle. So the word old is describing castle. That's why it's an attractive. Number five. The giant was very fierce. Hmm, how was the giant? Fierce. 
So the word fierce is describing the giant. That's why it's an adjective. Number six, Jack stole the bag of gold coins. Jack stole the bag of which coins? Gold coins. So the word gold is describing what kind of coins were they? Gold is an adjective. I hope you all are understanding it, okay? Now, on page number 11, make sure exercise number 1. Copy these sentences. Choose the most suitable adjective to complete each one. Okay, we have to choose the correct adjective, the most suitable one for the blank. Now, the A is the bridge was dash. Now, can a bridge loud, wooden or soft? The bridge can be wooden. Very good. So, the bridge was wooden. Now, B, the river was dash, wide, sharp or new. The river was wide. Very good. Now, the forest was dash. Can it be fat? No. Can it be high? No. Can it be dark? Yes. Yeah. So, the forest was dark. Moving on to our next exercise, make sure to now make up some, some, some sentences of your own. Use these adjectives in them. We have to use these adjectives in our sentences. Here I have made my sentences. Let's just see. Number one, we have sad. So I have made a sentence that Alina looks sad today. How Alina looks? She looks sad today. So the word sad is describing that how Alina was looking that day. Okay? Now we have funny. My friend knows so many funny jokes. Mm. So here I have just used the adjective funny with the noun jokes because jokes can be funny right jokes are funny so my friend knows so many funny jokes now here we have the adjective soft the ducks were very soft now i have to use the word the noun that goes with the adjective soft so i just thought what are soft so I just thought that ducks are very soft. So I made the sentence, the ducks were very soft. The word soft is describing how was the ducks. Now number four, we have muddy. The children were playing in a muddy patch of water. Now here the word muddy is describing Patch. What kind of the children were playing in what kind of patch? In a muddy patch of water. Okay. Last one is hungry. The dog was hungry. Now hungry is defining that what the dog was feeling. Okay. The dog was hungry. Okay. I hope you all got it. Now moving on to our next exercise, that is practice your punctuation. Now what we have to do, copy these sentences about a clown, put in the capital letters and full stops. Now let's just do it. A. The funny clown had a red nose. So what we'll do, we'll, how we can punctuate it, we'll make the first letter capital, okay? The funny clown had a red nose. Here we'll put full stop. Then we have, he wore a yellow jacket and baggy trousers. 
Now we'll make the first letter H capital. He wore a yellow jacket and baggy trousers and put full stop at the end. Now here we have the clown had long legs and big boots. So we'll make the first letter capital again and put full stop here at the end. Then his tall hat had a pink feather in it. We'll make this H capital because it's the first letter and we'll put full stop at the end. Now here we have punctuated them. Number two, when you have finished, underline all the adjectives you can find. So now we'll just underline the object. Okay, so now we'll just do PYP exercise two. What we have to do, now we have punctuated the sentences. Now we have to underline the adjectives in in those sentences okay so number one we have the funny clown had a red nose now the funny clown the word funny is describing the quality of noun that it's funny so we'll say the funny clown so funny is adjective so underline it the funny clown had a red nose now what kind of nose he has a red nose the word red is describing the color of nose so it's also an adjective now number two we have he wore a yellow jacket and baggy trousers now he wore a yellow jacket the word yellow is describing the color of jacket so it's an adjective underline it and baggy trousers so the word baggy is defining is describing what kind of trousers he was wearing so it is also an adjective underline it Number three, we have the clown had long legs and big boots. The clown had long legs and big boots. So the word long is describing that what kind of legs he had. He had long legs. Okay, it is describing that what kind of legs were they. It was long. So it is an adjective and big boots so here the word big is describing that what kind of boots were they they were big okay number four we have his tall hat had a pink feather in it now the word tall is describing the quality of hat that it was tall it was tall okay so it is an adjective had a pink feather in it so here the word pink is describing the color of feather so here it is adjective okay i hope you all have got it i repeat myself again what is adjective adjective is a describing word it describes Noun. It describes noun. The quality, size, taste, color, everything about noun. Okay? I hope you all will just review it with your parents. Okay? Till then, thank you. Take care a lot of yourself.